I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. A suspicious package washes up on the shore in Palm Coast, Tony Magoo reports. Recently, a beachgoer on Cinnamon Beach in Palm Coast called the Flagler County Sheriff's Office to report something suspicious had washed up on shore. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley. When the deputies arrived, it turned out to be a kilo of cocaine. We have contacted the federal DEA to help us investigate and determine the origin of the cocaine. Deputies from the Flagler County Marine Unit searched the beach but did not locate any other packages. Sheriff Staley, what should folks do if they spot something suspicious like that? whether it's on the beach or in their backyard. You should always call us at 313-4911 and have a deputy respond. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. One local health expert says we'll be dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic for the foreseeable future, and we're going to have to adapt. John Arking has more. The concept known as the R value represents the number of cases that a single case of coronavirus will lead to. So if an R value in any given community is 1, then the rate will stay the same. If the R value is 2, then the cases will double over each cycle and lead to exponential growth. Flagler Medical Director Dr. Stephen Bickle says what we've experienced here in Florida in recent weeks saw the R value go to 1.47. And what that means is you take 1.47 times 1.47 in two cycles, that more than doubles your cases. And so you take a few rounds of that and you've not only doubled it, you've quadrupled it. And then since then, we've gotten the R down to one. So that's great in the sense that it's not growing. You can even see the numbers in Florida that they've plateaued and we're kind of starting to go down. So the R dot value is actually in Florida probably a little below one now. I just checked it, I think, yesterday or the day before. But the problem is it is very hard to get it way below one without doing the measures that people don't want to do. And you know, none of us want to have to impose those on people like closing businesses and restaurants and bars and things like that. That's why we keep pushing the mask thing because it's, you know, relatively unintrusive and, you know, wouldn't necessarily require all these business impacts. Bickle says that without taking those aggressive measures, it'll be very difficult to get the R value to go well below one, meaning the transmission of the virus will continue until we see a vaccine. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. The Flagler Health Department is sending part of its staff to Flagler Executive Airport. Gretchen Smith is the public information officer for the department. We're going to be moving a call center there that are going to be helping us so that some of our folks who have been repurposed as answering the phones can go back to their say, real thought, jobs. Thought, some of these people that we're hiring are going to take on the responsibility of doing things like calling people when they're negative or helping them make appointments or answering questions. Their plans still need county commission approval, but they're hoping to occupy part of the second floor of the building there. The Flagler Health Department is still hiring at least 40 more people. Right now, we're tracing about 500 people who are either positive cases or close to positive cases. Smith is host of Flagler Health Matters, which airs every Saturday at 11.30 a.m. right here on WNZF. Do not let the numbers fool you. The COVID-19 numbers in Florida are currently on the rise, but Advent Health Palm Coast Chief Operating Officer Wally Dacchino says the numbers were down before. I was looking at the data and back on the week of July 5th, July 4th, that, that we hit a new peak at that point. And then it really decreased from there, only to increase again last week. Dacchino said that people should not let their guard down hearing this. He said that COVID is still out there and that people need to take every precaution possible against the deadly virus. To listen to the interview with Wally Ducchino, download the Flagler radio app and then go to the Free For All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, what is the average age of COVID patients? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.